Hey guys, this is Hang Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is a special day. I have my friend Gida Bass here. Gida is also an amazing makeup artist. We share a lot of mutual clients together. She worked with Selena Gomez, Julian Moore, and many other amazing A-list celebrity. And we create this beautiful look for a woman in their 40s. I know this can be a lot of makeup for a lot of people, but you can use your own judgment. If you like to wear less, just put less. You don't want to wear this much lips, you can have this less as well. I hope you enjoy the look. And don't forget to follow both Gita and I on Instagram as well. Thank you. Begin every makeup. I always like to give some love on the skin. And we have Gita here. Gita is a makeup artist, so she's gonna give you guys a lot more tips on top of what I'm gonna give to you guys. I don't know, I highly doubt that, but I'm gonna be asking you questions, I'm sure. The crazy thing about people give me a hard time is I always massage the skin so much and I always massage it down. And for me, it's more like a lymphatic massage mm -hmm. because that's how you drain all the water retention on the face, especially before makeup. So you always have to pull it down. But people didn't understand that. They just say, you're being rough on the face. You should always brush it up. Yes, I had a client grab my hand and she was just like, up, 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 always up. And I tried to explain that to her, about the drainage. And she was not having it. And I, do, I think I need, I need some <laughs> lymphatic help. Do you always take a lot of time to prep the skin before makeup as well? because I think that's the most important part for me. That's how the makeup stay really well on the skin and the skin looks so radiant. I agree. I mean, my aesthetic is sort of more of a natural yeah. kind of finish. So for me, skin is almost 50% of the look. Yeah. You know, if someone's skin looks amazing, then, you know, I'm sort of halfway there. That's how I feel. And yeah, prep, skin prep is so important. Yeah. And guy, this is 46 year old look like. Can you imagine this? <laughs> <laughs> I know when Hung asked me to do this, I just, I think I sent you like 10 grandma emojis. <laughs> and I was like, maybe he's got the wrong number. <laughs> I've also had nothing, you know, I've never done Botox, anything. I mean, I'm lucky if I get a facial, which I shouldn't say that, but I'm just too busy, you know, but I've never done that. So I, might, I guess my face looks a little different than a lot of the faces that you often see on camera. Gita is the perfect balance that most makeup artists want. I mean, have a family, have kids, and still have a full-time job. Because I think for me, even I'm single and I have no kids, but I find the balance, work, and personal life is so hard for me, for sure. It's really hard, but it's so important. You really have to have that balance, because at the end of the day, you know, what will you remember? Yeah. I always tell myself that. For the look today, I'm going to do on Gita. It's pretty natural. It's more an everyday look. And again, I'm doing for camera, so I always use a little more than what you should use at home. As I always say, makeup is personal, so use as much or as little as you prefer. I'm going to use this foundation uh, from YSL. It's more like a tinted moisturizer, but it has pretty good coverage for me. I used this on red carpet before. You have amazing skin, so I'm just gonna use mainly just the center and gonna buff it up. Yeah, I've been in the sun a little bit in the ocean, so there's some. Um, yeah, but I love the freckle. I but... think I'm gonna leave all the freckle there. Oh, good. I'm not gonna take it away, and it's beautiful. Just that's all I'm gonna use for the foundation. So. This brush feels incredible. It's, I love it. Is it. It's just coming out. I think it's from Clay de Poe. Clay de Poe, yep. yeah. I have the same yeah. one, and they have a really amazing concealer brush yeah. as well. I love it. Yeah. I mainly use the sponge, but this one's so nice, and it's have a pretty good grip there. Just it feels like a sponge, you yeah. know, like a hybrid. Yeah. And as you can see, just a little bit, and you blend it out. And I put mostly in the center here and blend out to the rest of the face. 
for concealer, I'm gonna use two different shades. The lighter shades, I'm used mainly under the eye, a little on the bridge of the nose, a little on the chin, and the darker shades is matching exactly the same color as the foundation. I just use around the nose and cover a little bit of the pigmentation. For concealer, you can use your finger, a sponge, the yep. concealer brush. You have such a light touch. I know, but my hand is so big <laughs> that on camera, a little move make it look like I'm really rough to the face. And that's always the comment. Was like, He's not. It's so gentle. It feels really it's soothing. Do you prefer to use like fingers, brush, mostly when you apply your makeup? I do everything with my fingers. Yeah. It's very different with the brush, especially you cream product. The finger does a beautiful job. I agree. Yeah, it's melt the product beautifully on the skin. I and mean, if you saw how I did my own makeup, like putting on powder shadow with my fingers, and you know, it's, it would horrify you, but it works. But guys, you definitely should check out Gita Instagram account. She does beautiful makeup on a lot of people and on herself as well. So you get a lot of tips. Thank you. Yeah, I've had to be my own model a lot recently, which is interesting for all of us. For powder, I'm going to powder mainly the T-zone and a little bit on the dye. I love this brush because you can do both eye. A little bit under the eye. And then... Just under the teaser. I'm just gonna use a little bronzer just to warm everything a little bit up, mostly on the perimeter of the face. Yeah, I feel like as we get older, our cheekbones tend to get more prominent, so mm -hmm. the less contouring, mm -hmm. the better. I think you have really good cheekbone, everything. Thank you. For eyebrow, I don't want to change too much of the shape, but I want to enhance it. You can see the part right here. I'm going to just add a little more color. I use two different brow products. So I use more like a pencil to fill in little part here. This new thing is like a little pen, that mm -hmm. three thing. So I'm going to draw individual hair, especially in the front here. Yeah, I need some help there. I, I was a Kate Moss. I love her, so I tweeze them all off into tiny little lines. So I've grown them back a little bit, but you know they never truly grow back. So don't don't do it, guys. Mm -hmm. I always suggest you guys try to use the color not too dark. Yeah. I think it's because naturally you have some density already from the brown. When you put too dark a color, it will look really dark on top of that. Yeah, I usually use like a blonde or yeah. a top or, you know, sometimes a soft yeah. brown, but never anything darker than that. Yeah, because sometimes they just look at the hair color and they try to match the hair color, but because you have a lot of depth of the, the hair like that already, when you put the darker color in there, it's going to look really, really dark. Yeah, I look crazy like that. It looks very harsh. Yeah. Know? And then I'm going to use the brow pen with three little pen in here. Just create individual hair in this area here. So I'm trying to make them look still natural. I don't want to fill in. I don't want to do like heavy brown at all. Gita brown still look like her own eyebrow. And you can see one side compared to the other side. So I'm going to repeat exactly the same technique what I just did on that eyebrow. To complete the brown, I'm going to gel it up a little bit. And guy, I'm sure you hear this all the time. Brows are sister, not twin. A hundred percent. I've never been able to make my brows look identical, so... And I'm fine with that. Try to do as even both sides you can, but don't kill yourself a bit, because it's almost impossible because nobody really symmetrical at all. Yep, that's the best advice. For the eye makeup, I'm going to do everything more long wear. I'm going to use a little eye primer first. I love this primer. I know. They have tinted and some of them have 
color and I use the massage shadow too. It's beautiful. Yeah. I do the same thing. Yeah, the darker ones make a beautiful, beautiful. chocolatey eyeshadow. Yeah. For eyes, I'm gonna use this pencil. It's more like a brown pencil and this color toppy one. And I got this one and trust me, it is more like a bathroom display. But I, it's so beautiful, I didn't want to use it, but I want to try it for you guys to see it. I'm excited. For the liner, I just draw a thicker line along the lash line. The product is long wear, so I do recommend you do one eye at a time. And what I do right now, just blend it out. The whole point of this, if you see my previous video, I use this more for depth. Not much of the color, but this way the shadow I find stay a lot longer. I blend it out and upward. I'm gonna use the same pencil just for the upper water line. For the eyes shadow, I'm going to use a little bit mostly from the outer part and a little bit on the lower lash line just for defining the shape of the eye. This eye shadow is a long wear cream shadow, doesn't crease, but the part is that they dry really fast. Again, I recommend just do one eye at a time. Yeah, that's great, otherwise you're in trouble. If it sets before you blend, right? Yeah. And if someone who's slow at blending, it's better just do one eye first. People are always concerned about cream shadow that creasing. This one doesn't, but then it set really fast for you. Yeah, I, people always say the same thing to me, that I've, is this going to crease? And okay. the cream shadows these days are incredible. They don't move. They don't but, at all, yeah. But you have to know what you're what you're doing and then just put them on and go for it and blend and, yeah. and then they stay put. Great for red carpets and things like okay. that where you need a long, long wear. I just put a little bit on the lower lash line. I didn't put any pencil. This is just to define the eye. I'm doing the same on this eye. I'm going to use this product from Sushado. It's an all-over highlighter anyway on the face. I'm going to use that just to blend out the shadow, the edges here, and I'm going to use that as the highlighter as well. Just a little bit. I love it because it's not crazy glow beam. It's very, very subtle. Mm -hmm. That's great. I know sometimes they can go a little on the glittery side. I've gotten myself in trouble. And this part here, you guys can see that I'm putting mostly the inner part. A little bit on the brown bone and blend it out. Gita have a little bit more deep set eyes, so I try not to put too dark color there. So this way, it can open the eye up a little bit. I like to put a little bit in the center area, just a little pop there. Using the same color as a highlighter, a little bit on the cheekbone. I think people really appreciate these sort of multi-use products right now. You yeah. know, keep it it's simple and easy. It's so beautiful now, now more right? than ever. For the blush, I'm gonna use this cream blush. I really don't know how to say the name. I think. Casual, casual ways. No, nope. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I I do know, but I can't remember the second. But I love this blush. I love all their products. Yeah, but I've butchered this name. Apologies. So I don't would know. I don't would know how to say name. You can see that I do mostly in this area. Just create more fullness on the mm -hmm. cheek. The older you get, 
the more fullness on the face that you like to have. Well, all the young girl always want to look really snatched. Some point of your age, you want to look more fuller. That's why the cream blush is just around for the cheek, and that gives you a lot more youthful. So keep that in mind. Yes, for me, it's always about rounding out the face. Yeah. I'm gonna curl get the lashes. I'm using this new mascara from Charlotte Tilbury. Usually I do mascara right after the shadow, but I would do the blush first because I want to see how much mascara I want on Gita. So sometimes it's nice, just step away from the feature you're working on and go back. And that way you can see how much more or how little you want to use on the next step. I like doing blush early too, because then I find yeah, see. the face will eat it and I want to know how much yeah. I need to put on, you know, to see how long it will stay. Well, Kida, I think this is the most makeup you, I ever seen you on. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I only see Gita at the press day when we do in a movie chunk it or something and Gita is always very, very natural. Yeah. Yeah, Hung and I are the two ones with all the moisturizer on. We're always yeah. looking Very really greasy. shiny and greasy, but we don't care. Like, we look young. Honestly, like the older you are, the more you realize that moisturize your best friend. For this eye look, I'm just going to skip the lower lash line. Let me see. Actually, I'm going to do a little bit on the lower lash. And mascara, I think, is also really personal preference. You know, some people love a lot of mascara. Some people like very little mascara, so it's really your you, your judgment. I'm the same. I don't like a lot of mascara, and I, I find a lot of people are always asking me for more. And it's yeah, it's all personal. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit blush on the nose as well to tidy everything up. I think a little warm hair is nice as well. I love that. It looks like you just got off the beach. I love yeah, that look. Just a little bit for the lips. I'm gonna use a lip liner first. And instead of lipstick, I'm gonna use a lip gloss. And I'm actually excited about this lip gloss because it's 2C2 mm -hmm. from Lancome. It was very popular at some point, and then they discontinued them. They just relaunched it, and I'm actually quite excited. I was kind of sad before that they went away. Even I'm not a gloss person, but it was one of the most beautiful gloss I've ever used before, for sure, yeah. Just shade in the shape of the lips and I filled it in a little bit. To complete the look, I'm gonna give Gita a little mist to freshen everything up. That's the look, guy. Maybe some people will love to do more matte lip or cream lips instead of the lip gloss, or maybe less eyeliner or more mascara. All up to you. But it's just an idea or an inspiration of makeup that you can look this amazing at 46. <laughs> Thank you for watching.